Who in the heck said baseball needed to be fixed anyway? Welcome back to Break Burst DFS, one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news. If you don't know already, I'm Walt. If you haven't already, you need to stop the video right now and like and subscribe to my channel. And then when this video is over, you need to put a comment in the comment section. All right, I know you all are shocked. Walter, you're not releasing a PGA video. What's going on? Let me explain the difference between DFS and then outside of DFS. So when it comes to DFS, PGA DFS is the best, followed by NFL DFS, then NBA DFS, little bit of tennis, MLB DFS is the worst. Everybody knows it. It is so difficult that even the experts will give you one or two picks and then they'll just tell you a team to stack the lineup. No, nah, don't like it. But in the real world, the number one sport for me is probably tied with NFL and MLB, and then you have the NBA. Like a lot of people from the South, I love college sports, and then you have PGA and tennis. Nothing personal, but I came to the party late. So, with that being said, let's talk baseball. It's all-star time. Either you are watching, or depending on when you're watching this video, watch the all-star game and the home run derby. But I have a question for you. Who says that baseball is broken? Who says baseball needed to be fixed? I know you all have seen the videos and you've read the articles for years and years and people complaining about all these things. But I would say that baseball isn't broken and it's never been broken. Let me break it down to you. Baseball and boxing had a head start over all the other sports. So of course, back in the day, they had a huge market share. Then the NBA got their act together. Then the NFL got their act together. So with those two leagues joining the party, of course, the market share for MLB was going to drop. And then the 80s happened and the NBA figured out a way to tap into youth culture. So all of a sudden, the NBA start getting cooler than baseball. And NFL, well, that was easy. Since the beginning of time, humans love to watch other humans hit each other. Not to mention that NFL, now we have 17 games, but because there are fewer NFL games, the games just mean more. Trust me, if there was a way to have 162 NFL games, I can promise you that relative to the games, it wouldn't be as popular. We wouldn't be watching 162 NFL games, but that's why we love college football. There's so few of them. Same thing, all the other sports have way less games than Major League Baseball. But I will admit this, Major League Baseball messed up by not having a salary cap. Just think about a team like the Green Bay Packers. A team like that could never have the sustained uh, winning ways that they've had because in MLB with the salary cap, you got the big boys like New York and Los Angeles that can spin, spin, spin. But in football, those big teams are neutralized. You can see that in the amount of times relative to their, their size and their wealth that New York and LA and other teams from bigger markets have won. Think about the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Granted, we know the Pirates did have a good run in the 70s, but you get what I'm saying. Not having a salary cap hurt baseball because all those people in those smaller markets that couldn't win against the big markets, you start losing fans. So those kids said, you know what? My team sucks. They always suck. They start playing soccer. They start watching NFL and they start watching basketball. So the salary cap thing that did hurt baseball. But beyond that, there's nothing else that's happened. There's this idea that everybody has to like the same thing all the time. No, some people are gonna like this sport. Some people are gonna like this sport. Some people are going to like another sport. It's okay. Baseball is okay. Baseball is continuing to grow. Look at the TV revenues. Look at the ticket sales. <laughs> Look at the salaries. If baseball were not doing okay, we'd see all those things dropped. 
Yes, the pitch clock. It's made the game shorter. But for the people who had a problem with the length of the game, they just left the game earlier. That's all they did. Okay, six, seventh inning, I'm gone. Now, with the shorter pitch clock, the vendors have less time to sell the things for them to make a profit. And people have less time to sober up. So one of those unintended consequences. So yeah, I can admit, I enjoy the fact that a basketball game is shorter, but also enjoy the fact that basketball games are inside. But beyond that, that's all I have to say about the subject. What are your thoughts? Put your comments. Is baseball broken? And if baseball is broken, how can we fix it? I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't already, I need you to like and subscribe. Yes, I'm going to say this after every video. Like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.